A bit bruised after last session's one vote defeat here in the House, state lawmakers are poised once again to try and pass widespread sports gambling in this legislative session. But there's a new turn this time around because North Carolina sports teams want to sweeten the pot for themselves. I believe that sports betting will get passed this session. Representative Jason Sane, a senior budget writer who helped sponsor the failed bill last time, knows there's no guarantee. There are opponents, but also key stakeholders now seeking a bigger cut of the action. Are, are sports teams and leagues now angling for these licenses? They are, and but you know what everyone has to remember is that they would still have to partner with somebody. Last year's bill set aside 12 licenses for companies like operators FanDuel, DraftKings, and Caesars to apply for so they could administer mobile and at-game sports betting. Now the teams, leagues, and some venues want the majority of licenses given to them. The teams see flipping that dynamic where they're the ones that hold the license and then they partner with the sports books as, as a better way of doing business, as a way for them to collect more revenue off of this. But if the Hurricanes hold that license, they certainly have a lot more sway. Uh, they, can, they can extract a better deal. WRL investigative sports reporter Brian Murphy says that could compromise the agreement. Operators, teams, Cherokee and Catawba casinos spent years hashing out. It, it's upsetting it a little bit to have the team say, hey, we want to renegotiate this. I think there's a hesitancy to go back into this bill, rework it dramatically, um, given how difficult it's been to get this approved. It doesn't seem like there's enough of an ability to protect those who have gambling and addiction problems. Representative Pricey Harrison was part of the bipartisan opposition that helped strip colleges out of the sports betting bill last time and ultimately defeated outright. I just think that there's a potential for corruption. And she worries phone gambling is too vulnerable to abuse. I think that the mobile aspect of it tied to a credit card, just unlimited access 24 hours a day, uh, constant bombardment with advertisements. That, that money goes somewhere else. If we provide transparency and, and, and a rulemaking uh, process that says this is what everyone's going to abide by, then that means we're not losing that revenue to other states. Sane says the new session means starting over with a new bill, hearings, and negotiations. He believes last fall's election helped tip the General Assembly even closer to sports betting approval here. A revenue producer, he'll continue to push. And if we don't get it passed, it'll come around again because it's not going away. Sane estimates regulated betting could generate $50 million or more for the state, depending on the deal and participation. But even if lawmakers make this happen, it could be late this year or even next before you could make a legal bet at a game or on your phone. Cullen Browder, WRAL News, Raleigh.